welcome to my YouTube channel, Purple Fashion In. My name is Sheyola Wale. Today I'll be teaching us how to make a cow captain dress with a neck strap and a neck region. Okay, the materials we'll be needing are, of course, your beautiful fabric. You'll be needing your ruler. You'll be needing your tape rule. You'll be needing your chalk and your pack of pins. Okay, please, if you find my tutorial helpful, please kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials on fashion. Okay, let's get straight to the work table. I'm using a four yard uh, fabric because I'm making it for a plus sized person. Okay, I've highlighted on the main bodies of the dress, the um, basic uh, regions. I've highlighted my half length of which I might not be needing. I've highlighted my uh, hip line. Also, I've highlighted my, um, um, I've highlighted the knee length of the dress. Then, of course, the full length. Okay, so the shoulder measurement is 17. 17 inches divided by 2 is 8 and a half. Okay, so I've marked that. You mark your shoulder measurement divided by two. Then you come to the hip line. Come to the hip line and the knee length. Okay? The hip line and the knee line. Okay? You measure what you have from the hip line. Sorry, I want to adjust the camera so we can see clearly. Okay. So you measure what you have between your knee length the hip line and the knee length. Yes, this is the hip line, while this is the knee length. What I have here is 17. So I'll be dividing it into two. Okay, that is eight and half. If you divide it into two, I have this. I'm going to highlight it. Okay, so I will be connecting this point, from this point, back to the arm hole. Yes, from this point that we derived from the difference, uh, the, the uh, difference between the hip line and the knee line, what we have there, I divided it into two. So that is why I have this point. Okay. So I'll be connecting this point back to the arm hole. This point to the arm hole. Okay. So I'll be connecting this point to the arm hole. So you can make any shape that you want, that is for the cow. But for the case of this tutorial, the client doesn't want the, the cow to be too bulgy, as in she doesn't want it to bulge out because she is a plus size person. So watch as I connect this place to the armhole. I'll be making uh, more like, yes, more like a cow. She doesn't want um, it to bulge out. Some can make it in form of, you know, like this. You can do any shape that you want. But for the case, for the case of this uh, tutorial, the client doesn't want it to bulge out. Okay, so I'll be connecting it this way. Then I'll make same connection to the knee uh, length and to the full length. Okay. So after having this this uh, curved part, curvy part, then I'll connect it. That means from the midpoint between the knee uh, hip line and the knee line. Okay, so I'll connect it. I'll make a straight line down to to the full length. Okay, to the full length. Okay. Don't worry, by the time I cut it out, we'll see how what it looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, this is what it looks like after cutting it out. Yes, can we see it? Yes. Yes, to the full length. Okay, so let's let's go to the neck region. Please remember uh, I folded the front and the back together. I'm cutting them together. So now it is time for me to separate the, the front from the back because the neck 
do not have same measurement and same cut so because of that please if you are uh, a beginner i would advise you cut it separately yes so as not to make mistake at the neck region okay if you are if you're an advanced uh, fashion designer yeah you can go on cutting the two together but you have to be very careful when you get to the neck region okay so now we want to get the neck um, okay so i'll be separating you can see the way i'm separating it now i'm separating the front this is the front neck okay i'll separate it from the back bodies yes so make the mistake of cutting them together okay so we measured earlier four by four because i'm working with a plus sized measurement four by four yes so i have my curve already so i'll be cutting it out Then I'll move it aside to cut the front, uh, the back also. Okay, you have to be very careful when you're doing this. Very, very careful if you're a beginner. Yes, beginner or intermediate, you have to be very careful because of the neck. Okay, so I'll be placing, I can also measure it directly, but I want to place it on it. Because I don't want to put the chalk on the front bodies. You can see this is the front bodies of the fabric. So, same thing, four inches. That's for the width, four inches. But please take note for the uh, depth of the back bodies, I'll be working with one inch. Yes, one inch. I'm marking on the uh, piece of the fabric, not the main body, so as not to have the chalk print on it. Okay, so we're working with one inch, yes, because we're still going to have a strap at the neck region to make a tie, yes, a knot, oh yeah, okay, so this is uh, for the back bodies, make your curl, if you can make use of your French curl, you can also use your free hand to do that, so I'll be cutting it out, okay. Okay, so having done that, I'll pull them together to do the shoulder slant, yes. Okay, so having cut out the neck for the front and back bodies, it's time for the shoulder uh, slope, yes. The slant, we'll be cutting out the slant together, okay. We place them together, then cut out what we sketch, okay. Yes down to the sleeve yes the sleeves region okay yes make sure we can see what we have now yes so we have our neck region cut out okay after this i'll be showing us how to cut a perfect bias uh strap for the neck okay stay tuned okay so if you want to sew it just sew the edges here yeah. you can see it you sew it together that's the front and back bodies you place them and so if you want it to have a slit at the lower part you can calculate whatever uh, inches you want to have a slit so you exclude the slit while you're sewing it okay so let's go to the work table as we join them together Okay, having pinned the front and the back bodies together, the first thing we'll be doing is to join the neck. You can see, we'll join the neckline together. So, watch me as I join it. As you can see, I've secured it with a pin so it won't be moving or shifting. Okay. to get this because 
because it's a chiffon fabric. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay. I'm trying to remove the paint so as not to obstruct the sewing. Okay. All right. Switch it up down to uh, area. Okay. Okay. So having done that. Okay. We'll be sewing the sides also, but you have to exclude the um, the measurement we had from the slant. Yes, from the slope of the shoulder to the armhole, we had 12 inches. Okay, so this is the 12 inches. I'll be subtracting it. Yes, this is the 12 inches. So that means I'll start sewing it from. As an after 12 inches downwards, okay. So let's get started. Let me pin that area 12 inches is the arm hole, yes. I'm gonna pin it this way so there won't be any obstruction. Okay, so you sew the sides also down. Remember, it's a free uh, dress, yes. It's a free maxi dress, so there might be no need for shaping that much. Yes. So I'll just sew it straight down. Sorry, my thread gave way. Following the curve that we have, remember, remember I said it's a, a, this fabric. If you're working with a chiffon or shaky fabrics like this, as such, you have to be very careful. And you have to hold them well, secure them well with a pin. Okay. If you can't do that with a pin, you have to be careful while sewing it. Okay. Almost done. Down. Remember, if you want a slit, you uh, exclude the area or the part where you want the slit to start from. So you exclude it from your your uh, your sewing while you are joining it. Yes. But in this case, there is no need for a slit. I'll turn it down. I'll do the same thing for the other side too. Okay, after joining the shoulder together and the sides, as you can see, I've joined them all. The only uh, part that is unjoined is the arm hole. Okay, you open, you, you won't join the arm hole. Okay, so let me show us what it looks like on the table. Yes, you can see we've joined the sides and the shoulder so now we have the neck region on john so i'll be teaching us how to cut a bias strap 
Shelly has a uh, for, for straps on our necks, yes, in the necks of our dresses, okay, or blouse or whatever. So, I'll be teaching us how to get a perfect bias um, uh, neck strap, okay. Okay, this is the fabric that I'll we'll be using for the neck strap. So, if you want to cut uh, a perfect neck strap, you don't fold it like this horizontally like this no you just don't fold and measure no you won't get your perfect um your perfect cut okay so when you want to fold you'll be folding it in form of a cross piece it's called cross piece so more like a rectangular fold it's not going to be straight just watch it's not going to be straight so it's more like a slanty or a triangular way of folding your fabric. Okay. So as you can see, mine is not straight. If you make it a straight cut, you won't get a perfect uh, neck strap. Yes, no, you won't. So it's a bit slanty. Yes, should be in the form of a bias cut. Yes. Okay. So I'll be measuring. I'll be needing um, two and a half inches for the neck uh, strap. Then I'll be adding half inch to it as the same allowance. Okay. So let me start measuring. I'll be that bit all together. I'll be measuring three inches. Three inches. Don't be in a hurry. I am doing this but it has to be straight three inches okay don't worry I'm still going to use straighten it up with my ruler three inches yes ensure you'll do it patient this has to get to the end of it so as you can see I'm trying to connect okay to so have a straight straight um, line okay so I'll be cutting it out now okay so after cutting the neck uh, strap I gave it a good press so that it can guide me it's going to have um, a fold in between to guide me while sewing it okay so would, uh, now we want to fix it on the neck I want to put the neck strap on the neck region but in this case my my own uh, neck uh, strap won't be at the center that means it's going to come to this side as in like a sideways yeah it's going to be at the side of the neck not at the center okay okay so I'll mark the center of the strap mark the center of the strap or notch it okay remember that I would have sewn the sides just to secure the edges okay so after that because I want my strap to fall at the side at the left hand side of the uh, of the dress so I won't be starting from the center so the notched part I would firstly um, put it at the center because I want to get the circumference of the neck. Okay, so yes, I'll be okay just to know how to manage the strap so as to fall at the other side, at the left hand side. Okay, so I'll be pinning it. Let me get some paint. I just want to be sure. Of where it's going to fall first. I'm not sewing it yet. I just want to see what it looks like. So I'm securing it with a pin. I want to know where it's going to fall. But at the same time, you can also measure it round. But to get a perfect um, result, I think it's best done this way. Please note that you must have marked where you want the strap to end. I want it to be around this area. So, I mean, I want to 
market okay you get the center of your neck I guess this is the center this is the center okay so the center is around here but I don't want it to fall at the center I want it to be at the other side so I can just come like two inches away from the center or one and a half this I marked it so that means that I will be working with this point here from this point to this point and I'll stop here okay and do the same thing for the other side I want to secure it first before I start sewing it so as to give me a perfect result okay I also want to secure it with the pin to be sure what I have left of the strap if they are equal that's the essence of this yes okay so let me see what I have you can see I told you earlier that it will be at the side not at the center okay I think this is fine yeah remember I you can see this is okay to not okay this is okay to not a bow tie or whatever shape you want to have at the neck for the neck strap okay so since you have confirmed this, you notch that area, the end point, you notch it, because that's where you'll be joining it, you notch it, you know, it's going to be in form of a belt, but remember it's a strap, this is at the neck, so you notch the other side too, that's where it's going to end, you are notching the strap, not the, the, the dress, Stick out, make that mistake. Okay, having done that, then you can start sewing. But before you also start sewing, you go, you remove the pin and set it properly. Now, since you have notched it, you know where it will pin. Okay, okay, so you give it a good press, iron press, you sew it from the notched area, from the notched point to the end of one side then you do the same thing to the other side so that means from the notched point you also sew it you can see it you can give it a good press okay okay so as you can see i'm sewing it sew it to the notched point so that way you notched it okay i've gotten there okay so i'll do the same thing for the other end to so end of the strap okay yes that is from this notched part i'll sew it downwards okay let me fix one okay so from the notched part don't forget Okay, as we can all see, um, um, after sewing it, I turned it in out and I gave it a good press so that it would be very, very easy for me to fix the strap at the neck region. Okay, let's come and fix the neck, uh, the strap at the neck. Region. Okay, remember the notched center of the strap. You consider that. starting from the back because you have notched the center of the strap of the neck okay. this is the notched point okay so I'll fix it to the center and start sewing it from the center of the back bodies can also pin it round to secure it. If you feel that you won't be able to do it perfectly to give it neat finishing, you can pin it like I'm doing also. Ok, 
Okay, after securing it with pin, you can see I've pinned it round. I'm going to start sewing it now. That's from the notched point. Okay, so this is the end point. Yes, after sewing it round, this is what we we'll have. And now, as you can see, so I'll turn it in. Okay, just like this. I'll notch this place so it can fit in well into the strap because I'll be keying it into this place, the M of this leg, I'll key it in, yes, I start sewing from there also, I'll sew it round, so you have to be very very careful when you're sewing it, so as to have a very neat um, finish, I'm trying to key it in well, as you can see, okay, Carefully, so it carefully. We are using this to cover the name of the camera closer to us so you can see it. Okay, this is covering the strap, is covering the um, okay. I just repositioned my camera so we can see it clearly. So you use this to cover this. So I have a very neat finishing and carefully sew it at the end. Yes, carefully. Okay, I have to be careful while doing this so it will have so as to have a very neat um, seam or stitches. Yes. Okay, gently. Alright. To get to the end, as you can see. To pull it, especially these stretchy fabrics, it can be so funny that by the time you pull, by the time you get to the end of the other side, you notice that it's kind of longer, so you have to be very careful. You don't need to pull it, you don't pull it, you don't pull it, yes, you don't pull it, okay. I'm carefully going to sew it. in this area so yes okay wow finally our cow captain dress is ready <laughs> wow can we see how neat it is yes can we see it that's how to achieve a perfect um, strap and any uh, uh, whenever you're making any kind of neck strap you can see to achieve a very neat finishing so our cow dress is ready so let's go and finish it up with our mannequin wearing it I want to secure the edges of the sleeves by making it um, a different uh, style so I want to put this at the edges. So what I'll be doing is either to pleat this into the round sleeve, yes, to pleat this, or or to to I, I can make a gathers, yeah, I can gather it in form of ruffles and sew it into the round sleeve. Okay. So for the end of the sleeves, I'll be making ruffles or gathers, some call it gathers. So, I'm going to pull it together, and then so after sewing it. Okay, so I'll show us how, I'm very sure most of us know how to make gathers. Okay, so I've made gathers or pleats, pleats, you can either make gathers or pleats. So I'll be sewing this with it, okay, securing it, okay, as 
much. I will finish it up. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Okay, so you can see. I'm going to secure the gathers with this fabric. You can make it uh, in your own way, whatever choice that you want to make it. You can just seal it up, you can close up the end the way you want it. But in this case, I want to finish it up with the same fabric that we have at the neck region. Okay. So I'm doing it carefully. The lies in pits or in uh, rough holes. Okay. Yeah. So after sewing it, you use this to cover this also so as to have a very neat um, uh, M at the sleeves okay the sleeve hand is going to be neat when you do it that way okay so I'm going to sew it up now yes as you can see you do the same thing to the other side and give it a good press Okay, wow, you can see our cow uh, captain dress with the next strap is ready. Please, if you find this video helpful, please kindly like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.